Hi guys, in this Flash CS3 and ActionScript 3 lesson, we'll be demonstrating rollover drop down menus in Flash ActionScript 3. Um, we had a couple of our forum members request this one, so I I figured I would take some time and put it together. And I, I already made all the elements, and uh, I'll, I'll be explaining what they are when I come back into the FLA here. But let's go ahead and publish out and look at this thing in the browser. And uh, you'll see that once you roll over the home button, uh, the home sub selections come down service and links and you can also make these in the FLA to where it doesn't uh, drop down if you just wanted a button here instead of a, a drop down uh, sub menus here uh, you can just have it be a standard button and it wouldn't have its drop down that's very easy to do but I just figured I'd make all three of them active for you and that way uh, you can utilize all of them you can you can make eight however many you want through there uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and make three just to make the tutorial a little shorter so I didn't have to do too much work alright so what happens is when they roll over the home button it comes down and if they go up here above the home button with their mouse it goes away if they go to the side it goes away if they go to this side it goes away because the services uh, drop down animation comes into play uh, and what there is is an invisible button, real big invisible, uh, not button, but a movie clip behind all three of these and their drop downs. So when you go over the drop down, if you come down here and you go off to the side, it goes away as well. So you can see how it functions really nice and quick. It's very responsive. Um, so if you go over here and you go off to this side, it goes away. If you're here in services, you go up, it goes away. If you go down to the sub selections, off to the side, it goes away. And so that's exactly what we're looking for. It's all the functionality we want. Um, and uh, like I said, if, if you're on one button and the pull down and the drop down is there, if you go on top of another button with your mouse, uh, the drop down for that one then plays. And this is all rollover uh, functions going on there. So we'll close this out and look at the FLA again. You'll see I have uh, this is a button symbol and uh, these are all three button symbols actually and you can see main buttons layer here then there's the uh, sub buttons layer here and it's under a mask uh, the mask layer actually has three parts to it in one part in the down one section it goes over the sub selections for uh, the sub menu items for the home button there and down two brings the mask down so if you're on down one, you won't be able. To, all you can see is what's under this mask, and of course these buttons on top because they're on top of that layer. But underneath, you'll see uh, only what's underneath the mask, and you won't see these other five buttons here. When the down two plays, you'll see only the three buttons that are under the services menu, and you won't see these four buttons here under home and these two buttons under links. And same thing when you when you roll over links you won't see these other seven buttons uh... you'll only see the three main buttons on top and the two that are under links because the mask is animated to show them when you roll over the home button it animates it goes and plays the down one function so when you roll over the services button it goes and plays the down two function when you roll over the links button it plays the down three function and on the actions layer it's uh, simple uh, simple stop actions four simple stop actions so that one's not complicated at all uh, the script layer is uh, is set up to to get the rollover functions for the three main buttons and here's the listeners the event listeners for those three buttons and it says go to and play down one uh, button two is go to and play down two and button three is go to and play down three and you can see how those animations are set up on the timeline there and now down here this is very important we have our um, invisible clip and it's script for it on these layers here and those just make it to where when your mouse goes over this invisible clip that means the the menu item will snap back or the whole menu will snap back to frame one uh, basically and you can see that happening in the browser when when you hit when you uh, 
take your mouse off of the menu items and it goes over the invisible button anywhere boom it snaps back to frame one boom frame one boom frame one boom frame one right there it's it's uh... it's in drop three this is drop two it's drop one so if you're in drop three you roll over the invisible clip boom frame one automatically so it just goes away okay and what else do we need to tell you I think that might be about it the static text is for the sub buttons is under the mask so you can't see those uh, unless you roll over the button the main buttons are above the mask so they're always visible the three main buttons like I said you can just make the uh, uh, the size of your flash file a little bit wider and put eight of these buttons through here and you would have down one, down two, down three, down four, down five, down six, and so on and so forth. But it would all be structured in this in this fashion. And you have to have your invisible clip has to be on each one of those uh, down areas. It has to be have its own function name, or else it'll give you a, a duplicate function error. Uh, but you can use one big clip uh, for that, and it's a lot easier that way and I think that is everything like I said in the in the code here this is important there's reference click code here and if you want to make your buttons clickable to do something to go to a scene or to go to a URL I have it set up to where if you uncomment this and if you clicked this home button in the browser it would go to a URL um, and so I just set that up so you guys had uh, reference for making these buttons actually active uh, once you you get it cosmetically set up the way you want it and uh... let's see make sure i go through everything okay back in scene one the main timeline there's only one frame and this uh... whole menu is inside of a movie clip so you can move it around easily and things of that nature oh, that's interesting let's see what happens yeah, I think you can just move it around anywhere you want in there and it still work all exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. So before I reach over 10 minutes here, I'll leave you guys with it and I'm going to put the FLA for download. Uh, you can get to the FLA uh, right at Develop PHP where this video is going to be uh, playing. Uh, right underneath it, you can click the download FLA link. And I think I discussed all of the layers, the script. Um, you can see the function in the script. Yep, we discussed that. And the main button's there. Yep, yep, yep. We're good to go. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson. And, uh, yeah, see you next lesson.